Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. This video is for anyone who's been assigned a task or an assignment in Canva, but isn't sure how to get started or what to do. So let's go ahead and get started here. First of all, we're at canva.com. And if you've been assigned something to do in Canva by your teacher or by your boss, you're going to want to log in using the same email address you use for all of your other school work or all of your other work. So let's go ahead and in this case, continue using the Google account for Mason, Mason at freetechforteachers.com. He's gonna go ahead and sign in using his school or work issued Google account. In this case, it's Mason at freetechforteachers.com. Now, he's in his account and let's go over to projects and we'll see any owner or shared with you we're gonna look at shared with you and there it is he has this sample demo presentation that's been shared with him and he can click on it and edit or make a copy of it so let's say in this case we're going to edit the presentation and in this case here i have the canva app installed on my computer but I'm not going to use it for this demo. I'm just gonna work right here in my web browser. Now, you'll notice that right here, I have this option to comment. And so we have a little commenting feature in the upper right-hand corner, and we can say you know, to my collaborator at Richard Byrne, this is the cover. What do you think about it? And we'll assign it to Richard Byrne. And we can see there's our comment. Now we can always, always look at those comments and reply to them. And when we're done with them, we can delete that comment thread entirely. Now, let's say we want to edit this. Just click on any element that you want to edit. In this case here, we want to edit Teacher Bailey and call it Mason the Dog. Now, Mason the Dog wants to move that title up to the top. So, just clicks and drags on it. But Mason the Dog also wants to put in a picture of a dog. So, go over to the elements on the left-hand side and let's do a search for dog. And we'll see some graphics and some photos. Now I can also go over here and just click on the graphics to see lots of graphics. You can click here to see lots of photographs. I'll also see video. And they don't have any audio for dog, but that's okay. We're not looking for audio right now. We're looking for little graphics. Let's put in this graphic to be the dog. And we'll click and drag. We can make them bigger or smaller. We can also flip. Let's flip the dog so the dog is facing that direction. And you'll see with some graphics, not all graphics, but some graphics in Canva, you can customize the colors. Click on the graphic you want to customize and then click on the color you want to change. And we could have a dog that has a purple nose and purple eyebrows. Now, that's a weird looking dog. So let's turn it back to being black nose and eyes or eyebrows in this case. Now, my collaborator is going to see all of these changes in their account as well. Now, let's say we want to create something from scratch instead of going into the projects let's just go to home and we're going to create something from scratch perhaps i've been asked to give a little presentation and design the presentation with canva well let's go right here and 
create a presentation. And in this case, I have a blank canvas to work on, but you'll notice there are tons of templates over here on the left-hand side. Now, some of these may not be available to you. They may be labeled as pro, and you may not have access to those features. So let's use one of these ones that doesn't have that pro designation. And we can choose history. And there's a neat little history one. And we can then pick one of the slides to start our presentation. And I'm going to change out the report in. And we'll put in the name here. Mason the dog. And we can move any of these elements around. We can delete them if we want to. Move that up to the top. And we'll do history of dogs because my dog is the one making this presentation. Let's highlight all that text. All that text is written in 250 point font. That's way too big. Let's change it down to 125. Ah, now we have something that fits and we'll click and drag to make it fit even better. Now, if we wanna change out the font style, go to that drop down menu up at the top and you can see the various fonts that are available to you. And I'm going to make it back to History of Dogs written that way. And this can be written by Mason the dog. I'm going to take out that fountain pen. And again, let's go back in and use a dog picture. I'm going to put that dog picture in. just right there and move the globe over a little bit as well. Now we want to add another slide. So let's add a page here and click on design and we can use any of these designs or we could just work from a blank background. And in this case here, we'll use this blank background and let's add some text. So I'm gonna add some heading text. I'm gonna say, dogs have been man's best friend since the dawn of time. And let's put that up here. Now, one of the things that's really neat about Canva, so if we go back to the elements, Rather than just looking for a specific thing, I'm going to look for a suggestion for best friends. And we'll see we have graphics that are aligned to best friends, right? And let's go into see all, right? And we see some additional suggestions like BFF and besties and best friends. And now we have lots of them here now. In this case here, I'm just going to use this BFF one. And I'll click and drag and make that a little bit bigger on my screen. Now let's add another slide. And I want to show you something else you can do with your slides. And that is include video. So you include videos a couple of ways. Let's search for a dog and a dog video. And hey, there's a cute little dog and there's another little dog video. Let's use this dog video or perhaps this one. And now we have that little dog video in our slide. that We can click and drag to make bigger or smaller. But you'll notice we also have the option to crop the video. So crop the overall size of the picture. Maybe I want to just move it down a little bit there, hit enter, and now it's cropped. But I can also clip the length of the video. Maybe I don't need 15 seconds of video. Maybe I just want to have, let's say, 
13 or 12 seconds of video. Click done. And now I have just a 12 second dog video in my slide. So let's add one more page. And I'm gonna go over here to our apps on the left hand side. And under our apps, you'll see things like video. And these are the actual video clips that are stored in Canva. But you'll see we also have the option to record ourselves. And if we go back into our apps, we can find even more like YouTube. And we can then search for dog videos from YouTube, let's say TV for dogs. And we're gonna insert this TV for dogs video that's hosted on YouTube, but it's going to be displayed right inside our slide itself. Now, if I add another slide, let's look at one more app and we can see down here, there's lots and lots of apps, including things like Google Maps, Let's say you want to use Google Maps in your slide. We want to look for, let's say, New York City. And we'll insert the Google Map for New York City directly into our slide. Now, all your designs in Canva are automatically saved if you want to share your design with someone else. Click on the share button in the upper right hand corner and you can add people and you can do that by typing in their email addresses. And in this case here, I'll put in an email address and I'll give that person edit rights comment rights or view only rights. In this case, I'm gonna make this person an editor and we'll send that invitation to them. Now from this share button here, we can also download our presentation as a PDF, as a set of images, or you can even have it exported as a tiny little video. We'll go back here to this download option and we can see there's even more options down here. For example, we can get this as a website. We get a little QR code for it. We can embed the whole presentation into another web page if we would like to. And down here, you can even get your canvas slides turned into PowerPoint slides. And we'll go right back here to our share button and let's hit that share one more time. And the last thing I'll show you is you can present directly from Canva by just clicking on the present button and your screens will go full slide. So hopefully that gives you enough to get started on your first project or assignment in Canva. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email, richard at burn.media. And for more things like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel or visit freetechforteachers.com.